Insiders have named who they believe is masterminding the release of damaging information about lockdown-busting parties including the infamous Bring Your Own Booze event attended by Boris Johnson last year. Two sources have told Express.co.uk, one insider suggests there are more revelations to come courtesy of Dominic Cummings the former Downing Street Chief of Staff, while another suggested the Prime Minister had nurtured a viper in his bosom. Mr. Cummings himself first drew attention to the BYOB party via a blog published on Substack earlier this month in which he said, the inquiry should investigate the socially distanced drinks email sent on Wednesday 20 May 2020. The full email, sent by Martin Reynolds, Mr. Johnson's principal private secretary, to roughly 100 people, was subsequently obtained by ITV. Recipients were invited to socially distanced drinks in the number 10 garden, with the message adding, Please join us from 6 p.m. and bring your own booze. Further revelations have followed, including details of drinks held on the eve of Prince Philip's funeral in April. One well-placed Tory source told Express.co.uk they were confident Mr. Cummings was behind the various leaks, saying Mr. Johnson had nurtured a viper to his bosom. The insider suggested the damage done to the PM was likely to prove fatal for his chances of staying in his job, saying, he has been brought down. Dot. No obvious successor had yet emerged, but Rishi and Liz both fancy their chances, the source said, in reference to Chancellor of the Exchequer Rishi Sunak and Foreign Secretary Liz Truss respectively. A second source with good Westminster contacts told Express.co.uk said the suggestion that Mr. Cummings was involved was very plausible. They added, impractically certain it's him drip-feeding ITV. Hinting at more to come. They said, it's not obvious HES fired all his torpedoes yet. He will have a lot on carry. Mr. Johnson apologized in the Commons on Thursday for attending the party, which he insisted he had believed was a work event. He is now awaiting the conclusions of civil servant Sue Gray, who is investigating various reports of parties and gatherings connected to Number 10.